Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. Happy Monday everybody. Welcome to the new trading week. If you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. So yes, Bitcoin hanging on by thread here, uh, just wick below the lower side of our support zone, getting supported by it at present. However, however, yeah, as I said, um hanging on hang on by a thread here we could easily lose this level take out this low come down to these lows potentially take out these lows and find out find ourselves down at the uh at the mid thirteen thousand dollar level maybe uh we will get front running that level uh and bounce before it maybe we'll trade uh below it however it is an air it is a big area that people are looking at so i would expect one of those two either to basically get front run or trade below maybe that is where we are going as a lot of the market is expecting um so yeah we shall have we shall have to see uh, if we look at finance 1.0 oh, though to see if it is going to give us any indications what we do have is the the dsy looks like it wants to break down take out this low uh at which point um it pretty much does open up down towards the 103s uh probably a last le level of support here uh, but not as important as where we are now which we are looking to break below so if this does come down uh we should potentially have a at least a tailwind uh, from um, the macro markets that can at least match the uh, the headwind we've got from the general crypto market uh, and then at least try and keep prices above this support zone for the time being um, stock market also trending it uh, sorry testing into support at the top side of it now if it loses this then that could be the end of this end of this rally uh, potential uh, signs of exhaustion here um, but yeah uh, quite close to this up trend line is this getting front run uh, I'm sold now, we're going to lose this and come back down and not quite make it or do we get a last push up to it um, and then roll over or do we get a push up and then break onwards and upwards? Uh, we shall have to see. Oil is not looking good here. Uh, well, not looking good for the oil bulls. Obviously looking good for people that want to save money on their fuel bills. Um, but yeah, oil coming down to basically what will be its major level of uh, support, which I don't think we're going to break through very easily. Um, uh, unless we have a, uh, a big global depression also this oil price is pretty much telling everything you need to know about the china reopening that it ain't it ain't happening um so yeah um not looking good there um not well not looking good uh for the oil bulls however it's coming into a good uh, risk reward buy area so we could easily see some bottoming out around here and then see if it can basically get back above uh well this area here so around 94 um but um yeah, it's probably a bit ask, a big a bit of a big ask in this environment. Um, you at the ten year, ten year still pretty much trending down, having a slight bounce here. Um, still a bit of a ways away from its support zone, so it has got lower to go before uh, could potentially uh, start to um, start to trend back upwards. Ethereum, Ethereum uh, Satoshi pairing testing into support also did break above the resistance and did break above the down sloping trend line. Is it for check, back checking and pay checking, pay checking? Um, we shall have to see. It has got support here. Um, however, if we do lose that, obviously, we are opening up, coming straight back down to this level. And at which point we would expect uh, a, a, well, a higher chance of breaking down below this very, uh, what should be a very strong area of support. Um, so that would, uh, breaking through it would um, open significantly lower prices. Um, I would expect we would, we would come down to, I mean, I expect we'd probably come down to actually a 0.05 handle. Um, if we are to break back below here and then obviously lose this support level here. Um, however, forward check, back check, pay check is still on the cards first. We have this overhead resistance and then it's pretty much uh, pretty much uh, plain sailing uh, back up towards recent highs. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there. Um, let's look at stochastics. Probably not looking too good now. Uh, four hour is pointing uh, down here. Uh, 12 hour freshly turned over from a high level similarly uh, daily looking to try and turn back over here um, by daily low but still pointing lower uh, three day low trying to turn up but still currently pointing down five day still pointing straight down along with the weekly uh, and then the bi-weekly and the monthly but we're looking at the monthly but the bi-weekly uh, low trying to turn back up um, so yeah, I mean, it's not it's not looking too good now. We've not managed to make much progress to the upside. These stochastics are turning back down, um, opening up downside. Maybe, like I said, we do get into this uh, area everyone's looking for, probably getting a, a stray wick either uh, quite a bit below or getting front around quite a bit before. That will probably happen. And then maybe that will ultimately be the low. 
Um, yeah, we shall have to see if macro markets continue with what they're doing, um, i.e. looking better. Um, it would make sense that the next major push down would, would be the low. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, at the moment, yeah, like I said, at the moment, we're getting uh, tailwinds um, equally in headwinds there or thereabouts. Um, so obviously uh, there will be an imbalance if one of those is to give. Um, so yeah, um, that is about it, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research and I shall speak to you guys soon.